Egg Testing 101, a step-by-step -step guide to making and using an egg tester. Eggs past their expiration date should never be eaten as they could contain bacteria that cause food poisoning. Luckily, there are several fast and simple methods available to check whether an egg remains fresh. One way is to make and use an egg tester to ensure that the eggs you buy at the store are still edible and safe to eat. This article will take you through the steps of making your own homemade egg candlers and teach you how to check eggs for fertility. Another easy method for testing your eggs is to see if they float in water. Older eggs float because there is a large pocket of air in the base of the egg that keeps them from sinking. Egg Tester Candler Plans Egg candling involves inspecting the inside of an incubated egg for defects or anomalies during incubation, so certain steps must be taken when candling to ensure successful results. First is making sure the egg is completely clean and free from dirt or debris to reduce any misreading due to changes in color as it ages and develops. The second step should be selecting an ideal location one with low ambient lighting that won't disrupt candling processes where candling results won't be affected by external light sources such as room lights etc. Thirdly it's crucial to know how to interpret candling results to assess fertility status or not. Candling an egg is a straightforward process that involves briefly exposing it to bright lighting for an extended period. While originally people used candle flames for this task, nowadays most home incubators come equipped with tools that make this task much less dangerous and simpler one such tool being GQF Manufacturing's Cool Light Tester as it limits exposure time while increasing the accuracy of results. Egg candling begins by placing an egg in a bowl of water twice as deep as its height, holding it at an angle with its large end pointing toward the light, and rotating as necessary until you can view its entire interior contents. If your egg floats to the top, that indicates freshness. Otherwise if it sinks to the bottom and tilts at an angle it indicates slight age but can still be consumed, but if it flat out floats it no longer remains safe and should be discarded. Importantly, candling results typically take up to 14 days before becoming apparent. During this period, embryo development occurs and, if fertile, will become visible through the eggshell. Otherwise it will appear cloudy with blood spots showing it was never viable enough to develop fully enough to detect. DIY Overscope for Hatching Eggs No matter where your eggs come from whether from your own chickens or from local farmers knowing how to tell if an egg is fresh can be especially important for infertility patients, as egg quality has an immense effect on conception rates. There are multiple methods available for testing freshness. Some tests can be very straightforward while others require additional steps. One of the simplest methods of testing an egg's freshness is the float test. Simply place it in a bowl of water and see whether or not it floats. An egg that sinks indicates freshness while an egg that floats indicates past its prime and should not be consumed due to porous eggshells allowing air into the shell which lightens and more buoyant eggs that floats over time. Check the consistency of their whites to test eggs. When an egg is fresh, its white will be thick and slightly sticky while when an egg rots, its white becomes watery and runny while its yolk will also look flat on top instead of being round. An egg candler can help you determine if an egg is fresh by placing it on it and placing it in a dark room. Light from the candler will shine through the egg's shell to reveal whether its embryo inside is alive, otherwise, its shell may appear dry and should not be consumed. Additionally to egg candling, an overscope can also help determine whether an egg has been fertilized. A simple overscope can be assembled from cardboard, wire and LED or incandescent bulbs. Its illumination of an egg allows you to see both its embryo and blood vessels within it. For additional insight on determining egg quality, subscribe to Beat Infertility podcasts hosted by Alison Rogers who discusses topics related to fertility such as Day 3 FSH and estradiol testing. She can also answer your queries in our private Beat Infertility Facebook group where other members may also be experiencing similar difficulties. Poultry Egg Testing No matter if you keep chickens or not, it is always a good idea to be aware of how to test eggs for freshness. As bad eggs aren't just inedible but can cause serious illness when consumed, the good news is there are simple methods available for testing eggs for freshness. If an egg is still in its shell, you can often tell by inspecting or smelling it if its condition has changed. Cracked surfaces or powdery coatings could indicate mold and or bacteria growth. Any unpleasant odor is an indicator to throw it out immediately. Another method for checking the freshness of an egg is simply placing it in water. Older eggs will float due to having lost their air pocket. Fresh eggs, however, will sink. To conduct this test, fill a bowl three quarters full with water and drop an egg gently into it. Watching where it lands if it sinks to the bottom then your egg is fresh and safe to consume, otherwise, discard it. This is an effective and straightforward egg test anyone can perform in their kitchen. However, 
If an egg has already spoiled, even with simple measures it cannot be saved. This test is best used on fresh eggs that are still in the carton. Older eggs can sometimes be hard to tell if they are fresh or rotten. Float testing is an easy way to evaluate the freshness of raw eggs. To do this, you simply need a bowl of water filled with enough cold water to completely cover the egg. Gently drop an egg into the water and watch where it settles. If the egg sinks to the bottom and lays on its side, it is still fresh. The float test is also a great way to check the consistency of an egg. It should be slightly opaque, not spread out too much, and appear thick and somewhat sticky. If it looks watery, clear and runny, the egg is past its prime and should be discarded. Egg Incubator if you're hatching chicken eggs, or other kinds of poultry or reptile eggs, using an incubator is highly recommended. These devices keep eggs warm over a 21-day incubation period to allow embryos to develop and hatch without their mother present. An egg incubator can either be made at home, purchased from stores, or both. Either way, regular testing must take place to make sure your incubator's contents remain healthy and are ready for hatching candling or another method can be used to determine viability can ensure healthy results. An egg candler is a simple device designed to allow users to see inside an incubated egg. Consisting of a tube roughly the size of an egg with an opening large enough for light to shine through it, candling can be performed using any variety of lighting devices ranging from flashlights and specialized pieces of equipment that provide this service. But for maximum effectiveness and speed it's best done during incubation, when embryo development can be seen clearly within.